Oh, okay. So, I've just filmed a very sad, um, dug-up nest on the top of the hill, and I've come down now to, um, I'm, I'm sitting outside, well, I'm lying on the floor outside a cafe on the hill, St. Anne's Well, and this is a very live, very active bumblebee nest. Um, I know it looks like paint drying at the moment, there's nothing really happening. This is Bombus lapidarius, a uh, red-tailed bumblebee, and the bees, I can just hear one coming. I'm just in the way, I'm going to move out. There we go. You saw the red tails there. Absolutely beautiful, these bees. They're kind of like black velvet with red velvet tails. And Lapidarius, um, in Latin, is a uh, precious, precious gem, precious stone or, or, or rock. So these bees do quite like nesting uh, in, in rocky um, stone walls and things like this. So it's early August, like end of July, early August, and at this stage what will be happening in this nest is they will be producing uh, male bumblebees and daughter queens. So this will be coming to the end of its life, this nest. Um, it's in a good place. It's not going to get dug out by any badgers or anything here. Nice and safe. Surrounded by people, which is interesting. And underneath... Oh, I just missed one coming out. Underneath a fern. Oh, hello, little one. Ah. Oh. Well, that could be, that's a worker. Um, the, the the queen and the workers here are all completely black with red bottoms, but the males have got um, quite yellow, yellow faces. They've got a yellow band just uh, above on their heads and quite recognisable by that. So there, there could be up to 200 bees in here. And what's going to happen very soon is the males will leave, the daughter queens will leave, the the queens, um, daughter queens will then mate and go find somewhere to hibernate and everything else will die out before the winter. So, not much activity I know, it's not very interesting, but um, that's good. So. Nice, nice bumblebee nest.